All right, today is March 13th, 2012. Up here in Salt Lake on a repossession for a silver Ford Taurus. We just uh, drove by the given address. We've made contact with the uh, lady that lives there. That's the driveway right there that the car is supposed to be sitting in. And there's a garage in the back, but it's not big enough to hold a vehicle of that size. It's actually not even big enough to hold a small compact car. And so I'm not even going to bother walking up there and trying to look inside it, knowing that the vehicle we're looking for is not going to fit inside there. But what happens a lot of times up here in these types of neighborhoods where there's a lot of parking on the street, they'll sometimes have parking in the rear. There'll be little alleyways between these streets. Uh, and so we have to check to see if the street that they live on or the streets nearby them have those rear alleyway parking lots because there'll be some places where there's public parking where they'll have these little mini parking lots back down these alleys and stuff. I'm not seeing any on this block right here, which is the block just adjacent to our uh, given address. And so what we'll do is we'll wrap around this block one time. You also, at the same time, what you're doing is you're doing a grid pattern search where you're going back and forth, just checking on the street because a lot of times what they'll do is they'll come down here on one of these back streets and just park just around the corner. And this is literally just a couple minute walk away from the house. And if you get repo agents that are lazy and don't, you know, they just drive by the given address and then just keep on going, you're not gonna ever find your collateral because it's a very common thing for people just to park up at these little nookways. There's gonna be a little apartment complexes with extra parking lots and stuff like that. So we always wanna make sure that we go up and down and we do a grid pattern search back and forth. Oh, look at that. Silver Zulu 124, that's our vehicle right there. Sitting right here on the street. Look at that. Silver Ford Folk, or uh, Taurus just sitting right there. We've got a confirmation on the plate. I'm gonna jump out and vent it real quick. Huh, how funny is that? Get my backup camera going here. So we are just south and just east of the house, probably not even a 30 second walk around the corner. So I came up this way and I drove right by here and had I just glanced this way, I would have seen the nose of the car right here, but I was coming up on my street to turn right there and so I was paying attention this way and uh, but by doing my due diligence and doing my grid pattern and checking the back ways from having knowledge of this area, got my repo. That was nice, that was really nice. Don't always get that stuff on film. pull up to the house now with the vehicle on hook and demand the key just to let them know we're not completely stupid so turn in the corner going up one street that's the house right there second house in all she has to do is walk out that back fence down the side of the road right there and she's at the car so we're gonna pull up right in front of the house here and knock, let them see that we've got the vehicle on hook. See if they wanna get any personal property out. 
the bandit key. That's the little shed I was talking about that was too small to hold the vehicle. I just want to see if she wanted to get some personal property out of her vehicle before we transported it. I can't take anything in there. Okay. Do you know if she has a key or not? Yeah, I got a key. Okay. Are you Dorcas? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, do you, there's nothing you need to get out of the vehicle before we take it? No personal items? Okay. We can just get a key from you, then we'll get out of your hair. saw the vehicle in the back. She knew she'd been beat. Got her own game. But, uh, yeah. Always do your due diligence. Check up and down your streets, crossways, laterals, everything. Do your, do it, do it right and you'll get your, uh, proper paycheck. And that's all the drivers out there. Business owners, teach your guys. Don't just have your cherry pickers out there just picking up the ones that are supposed to be at the given address get everything your clients expect you to get. That's good repossession right there. <laughs>